What up, people? Today I am going to talk to you about a VR game called Star Tenders Intergalactic Bartending that I played on the Oculus Quest 2. First off, I don't know how many hours I have played this game, but it doesn't really matter because technically the story can be played in perpetuity until you save up enough money to purchase the teleporter parts and escape. I haven't gotten there yet, so we will see. There isn't much of a story in Star Tenders. Basically, you were accidentally abducted and you're being forced to bartend for an alien nightclub. Like I already mentioned, the story can go on forever and there is a little infinity symbol on this bar here when you start up. I haven't finished completely yet, but I have definitely played enough to be able to write a solid review. As with many VR games, the real draw is the gameplay. Being able to interact with the environment and do mundane tasks in VR can be super fun. Star Tenders is no different. You basically just stand at the bar and make drinks. You start out with limited ingredients and every shift there's something new tossed into the mix that adds some difficulty. On top of that, you earn money and can upgrade the equipment that you have at your station. The money you earn is based on your performance and trust me, it gets harder to keep up with the customers and honestly, some of them are pretty rude. Outside of the bar, there is a mechanic that I loved where you actually build the new equipment that you purchase. After buying a blueprint, you slide on over to the crafting station and build away with your little torch. I thought this part was super enjoyable and I was excited every time I bought a new blueprint. As far as controls go, it is pretty simple with the triggers just being used to grab. Most of the time, everything responded very well from taking out fruits and grabbing different mixes off the wall. The only part that was ever really tough was actually grabbing the little umbrellas out of the drawer. A lot of the time I had to try multiple times as it would just grab the drawer over and over, but besides that, it was very, very smooth. The game is very pretty, super vibrant colors that are like crack for the brain. Didn't deal with any weird janky clipping or visual glitches in my time playing this game. Star Tenders is unfortunately not multiplayer and I think it could be really fun either in a versus situation or a co-op scenario running the bar together. But the fact that this game is a year old, I doubt we're going to see implementation of something like that, but it would be a lot of fun. So I would absolutely recommend getting this game. It's only 15 bucks and I think I got it with a coupon for like seven. And after playing, I would definitely feel okay spending $15 on it. It's hours of fun. It's definitely a good one for content if you're a creator. But that's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to keep up with all of my future content. And I post shorts every single day and will continue to do so. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.